Hello everyone. I am going to make a cover for this book and I decided that I'm going to do a soft cover, kind of wrap it around the signatures. So I have chosen a, just a piece of copy paper and I'm going to randomly glue some stuff down on the paper. But first I need to decide how large to make my cover piece. So if I measure, my signatures are about a little more than six inches tall. So I am going to do six and a quarter. That should give just a little bit extra to make the cover a little larger than my signatures. And my signatures are about a little more than four inches wide. I want to say four and a quarter in some places. So if I double that for the front and the back, four and a quarter gives me eight and a half. So I need to figure out how much my spine will be. These signatures are not quite done. I still have some stuff to put in them. So they're going to get a little bit more fat. But if I were to measure um, and keep it kind of loose, I'm going to say an inch. So that's nine and a half inches long. So just to make my base piece of paper, I want it to be six, six and a quarter. six and a quarter. So I am going to rip that off just to make it faster. And I need it to be nine and a half inches. So right there, right there. And I am going to glue stuff off the edge. And that'll make it just a little bit bigger. I want the cover to be kind of like the pages. So the torn edges all over the outside. That kind of thing. So that's my cover. Just to check to make sure it's going to be big enough. I really need to make sure I put a lot of stuff over the edge just to make it a little bit bigger, but that's going to be um, a good size. All right. So I have taken some random background bits and I am just going to start gluing stuff down. I do think that I need, first I do need something else. I am going to use this as a cover. So I need the spine to be pretty strong because I'm going to sew into this cover. So I'm going to put a piece of Tyvek tape. This is tape that I found at um, uh, it's a why can't I think of the name? It's tape for drywall. And it is extremely strong, extremely sticky. At a hardware store, you need you can find it at a hardware store. It's kind of pricey, but it is really nice. And you know what? I'm going to put another piece just to make sure that my spine is really strong and won't start tearing when I start sewing the signatures in, onto it. I'm not really measuring, I'm just kind of guess, guesstimating where my center is going to be. And then I can glue all this stuff over the top of it. So it should be pretty strong. All right. And then I'm going to glue stuff on. Now, if this is going to be the cover, so I want to make sure that 
the spine is strong and the edges of the page are strong. So I am going to just go ahead and glue some stuff where it's really going to get a lot of wear and tear. And then I can double up, triple up on those areas, make sure that that cover is going to be strong enough. So that's all I am doing. I am randomly putting some stuff down here. I hope I've got enough to cover this whole page. I use I'm using pretty generic bland stuff. Just because, you know, I don't want it real exciting and real I, I don't want a lot of stuff going on. Um Let's use large pieces first. So around the edges, I think I'm going to try to put a little bit more stuff. I'm going to glue pretty heavily. it's well burnished down and I do want extra stuff on the edges and things so that's all I'm doing let's see how quickly I can get this stuff glued down I've already I made sure most of my bits are torn around the edges So I don't have to stop with glue on my fingers and, and do that. I don't need more book page. I need some other stuff over here. So that's it. Just going to cover everything up randomly. Um, let's put that piece down. And then come back. That's a small piece. I want to use the larger pieces first. First. That's too much blue. Painted paper, we could put that down there, we could put that down there. Other side, large pieces. too. Like I'm going to start coughing. Let's just put that down. Some of the smaller pieces on top of that. Plenty of stuff. Let's paint that a little bit smaller. Do that piece. 
right there. Be a little bit smaller. Newspaper. Let's put this in the corner. Strengthen up those corners just a bit more. Some of this painted paper in the corner. something kind of long and skinny that will go there. Interesting. How about something like that? Flat edge. And something down here. Maybe not another game bit. We can put this newspaper is kind of large. It should have gone on the bottom. That's okay. side and make it just a little bit more interesting. Just a tad bit more interesting. glue everywhere on my fingers. Um, this needs to be broken up quite a bit more, so let me put some more stuff there. This guy will be cool. Probably in the corner might be nice. Something up here. Make that interesting. Something over here. A little bit of that would be cool. All right, on the edge. And I've got a straight edge. I don't want to use a straight edge. Maybe a little bit of this would be fine. Some right there. And I feel like I need something right there. Maybe a bit of this newspaper. Like that, and something right there. All right, 
already break that up just a little bit. So I've got quite a bit of stuff. Break that big old bit up. And I've got a lot of stuff on the edges. And I'm going to just let this dry flat. I'm not going to do anything with it. And that way I know that all this stuff is glued together really well. Burnish it all down just to make sure. Feels pretty thick. Um, so I am just going to leave it, let it dry flat, and I will come back when I have my signatures done and show you what I'm going to do with this. Thanks for watching.